This week, Chloe's in the doghouse, David gets fired, and I get unplugged from the Matrix. So let's strap down, strap in, and do this. This is just another trucking podcast. Hello, this is Just Another Trucking Podcast. I am your host, Tom, and I am joined, as always, by my good friends, my co-host. And let's just start with Chloe, who, as far as I'm aware, is hammer drunk at the moment. How? I'm what, like what my fourth watched... cider. One second. <laughs> just for very quickly, I, nice. I, know we shouldn't, I know we shouldn't be introducing our guest yet. Are you drinking the same thing? I'm Kevin? drinking British lager. Oh, okay, no. I, I thought, I thought you were drinking the same thing. Special no, Ghibli thing, really I don't fancy. know. Wow, super fancy. Right, Chloe, what have you been drinking today? Because you, <laughs> you sent us a message, <laughs> which was just I'm garbled. running over drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Jesus Christ. I've been on a, a bit of barbecue today uh, with, by the way, the Roro Posse from my work. and The Roro Posse. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I said another t shirt ready in the waiting. <laughs> I love it. I'm part of the Roro Posse. I've got to give a shower. I, hi, guys. I'm still pissed. Um, yeah, basically, I've had three ciders, a pina colada, a strawberry daiquiri, and two Long Island iced teas. Something like that. Ooh. I never liked yeah. them. I've, I've tried a Long Island iced tea. It's nasty. I it love it. Nasty. No, it's, it's a good. It's oh, a good it was drink. good. It's good. So really? I'm pissed. Really? David, back me up here. Are you going to introduce me yet? Or am I just going to go straight oh, All right, yeah, sorry. <laughs> There's also David, who I'm hoping is about to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's going to back you up. Oh, that's, nah. that's right. As the host, I'm supposed to introduce everyone. I remember my job now. It's just occurred to me this second. <laughs> uh, uh, we're, oh, shit, we do have David, the, the TikTok star, who's just posting like... Well, uh, let's be honest. Yeah, you're doing quite well on TikTok. I do all right. You've, you've yeah, just, you do uh, well. We were just talking to us about a minute ago about how, hitting a million views on one of them. And we're just like, yeah, well, what? And you're like, yeah, that's normal. That's a no, it's not, well, it's not that's normal. A, I have a few videos number. that have over, yeah. a, over exactly. a million. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Own it. You know, but this is the time to yeah. push your. Uh, he, he your what is be... it, David? <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't, I don't, pl- I don't like plugging stuff. It's just not. No, my, uh, not at all. It's not my style. You know, just. Uh, yeah. What? Are you feeling all right? <laughs> what? <laughs> you plug stuff all the time. You are you are the serial yeah, plugger. You know what? You, you know no, what's he's, funny he's, is that you may not like one of them infomercials <laughs> <laughs> for the people who are watching online. Because you remember, I have a green screen in the back, so I can change whatever I want in the background. <laughs> Post it. Yes, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> right, let's introduce our guest. Hello, Kevin. Is he reviews? How's it going, sir? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, uh, brilliant. Thanks for having me. By the way, thanks for the invite. Appreciate it. Hey, hey, for for them people who don't know, and this this goes to show that this lad is is you know I, I feel like some effort and some I don't know. Some appreciation. Are you at a house party? I cannot deny or confirm what you're talking about. But... And he's still come on the podcast. <laughs> yes, mate. He's in a garden currently recording this. What I will say, my commitment to uh, social media and, and uh, my my side, side time hobby, I guess this is, uh, is real. I love it. Um, it's, yeah. it's very new. So, you know. Um, How but... much have you drunken today? Again, I cannot confirm or deny <laughs> the amount of alcohol it, that's... Either way, you'll be under legal limit for Monday, sure vibe. Yeah. We're all yeah. good, son. It's all good. Oh, God. Yeah. Right, so we have a, we have a bit of a segment the when we get a new guest on of how did you get into trucking? What, what Hang on, you don't you want to talk about merch and, you know, all that first? Oh, shit, yeah. Buy merch. Jesus. Right, so... How did you get into trucking? <laughs> well, I'll plug them. I'll plug them much later. It'll be fine. I've already answered. The question. Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, You're drunk. <laughs> so I am actually. So I was actually in the army. So still kind of. Um, and so I got my licenses through that way when I was like 17. Yeah. And like fast forward eight nine years later, I uh, decided to start utilising it part time, and here I am. But the the emphasis behind this whole thing was, uh, and driving trucks was. It was always kind of, it, it was always with me. Like it's, it's all I ever kind of known. It's the only job I've kind of really done. Um, and so we had a, a lot of our guys and a lot of, you know, people that 
transition uh, from squaddies to then truck drivers. Um, you know, they don't really have too much of an insight or an idea of what well, that entails. Just, so just, just what, what, what were you in the in the army? What were you? Like, were you log, were you logistics? A uh, driver specialist. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. So any any vehicle from like fuel tankers to armored vehicles and stuff like that. That's that's kind of the mo. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's it quite. And um, and somehow I'm guessing even if you were deployed to Afghanistan or something like that, and you were you were deployed to an active battlefield. Still better than the M25. So. <laughs> it moved a lot better yeah. than the M25, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. We not. Should I not swear, by the way? We should. Oh, my God, he just swore. Oh, my Lord, David, David. He swore. David, he's, he's David said a naughty. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, David. <laughs> you're fine we'll to we'll swear. I just have to bleep it out. Yeah, you're, you're fine, yeah. fine. Well, we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're, right, don't, okay. we'll bleep it. Yeah, they, they, they actually, bleep it. actually <laughs> I'm going to start. I'm going to start finding finding our co-hosts and hosts for every time that they swear. Oh, and if no, they, mate, I'm going to. Oh, if if, if, if there's too much of it, then I'm transferring <laughs> all the editing over to Tom because I'm done with that. Then. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh are we, wow! Are, are we? Uh, I feel like we should have a Patreon if we're going to start because <laughs> that's the only way we can afford the amount of swear words we, we can afford swear <laughs> <laughs> Patreon coming soon. Also, and I feel like this is a great time to plug the merch. Please, we need go and buy the merch. Um, go to salmonslap.com. You can get, oh, if you can see it, the lovely t shirt. They're very nice, these. And nice we've got hoodies. Um, oh, it's, it's back there somewhere. Can you see it? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, there, there, is, there is some more. I have, funny enough, actually, I've been talking to someone about. Um, I say, how's the new match coming on? Although I feel like this, yeah, I feel like we shouldn't be discussing this live, should we? We should be talking about this like off air, where where we can like kind of talk about all of our secret plans for merchandise and all of that malarkey. Don't give away the goodies just yet. Exactly, exactly, Sean. That's, That's what's happening. <laughs> That's what's happening. Right, should we move on to our first topic of the day? I'm interested to can, hear about David's can I just topic. Tell you what? about my what? What? I just thought you'd like to hear about my experience in the week. Your experience? Oh, yes. yes. Your experience. I apologise profusely because the midweek. What did I get to you do? Got, you got to go. I'm trying to. Find, I'm trying to think of a way of sound, explaining this without. We did a collaboration, effectively. Oh wow, that was much better than how I was explaining. What were you I going with? Say, <laughs> I, I was going to say that you were you were taken away by a group of men to a to a basement somewhere <laughs> and then forced to talk. Chloe, uh, what do you do for a living I... again? That's pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah. So we, yeah, we don't so talk about the Labour incident. I <laughs> went. Uh, yeah, we don't talk about that. Um, although I did talk about it on this podcast. So no, did you? I did. Well, they asked me like loads of questions. <laughs> so obviously, I've if you can't remember, I've been on the Doghouse podcast, a uh, little collaboration, and. They asked me, like, what was my drunken experience? And I was like, I don't know. Like, what's my worst drunken experience? And I was like, I don't David, know, but I've got David, a lay-by story. Yes. <laughs> David, was Chloe the best ambassador to send? To send no. <laughs> they started. We could have picked any one of us, including yeah, the but producer I was the who didn't leave. And we sent Chloe. Right, okay. I was the closest. <laughs> <Our ambassador. laughs> They started asking me technical questions. I was like, I don't know. I just turn up. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, you've yeah. got the wrong person for this podcast, so, mate. <laughs> so, Kevin, there's there's another podcast that um, we've we've got some ties to because we, we've actually yeah provide some context some guest and yeah. So uh, in, in, it's called the in in the doghouse uh, podcast. Uh, absolutely like proper that lovely lovely bunch of guys. Yeah. They are going to be coming on to our podcast at some point, but yeah. I feel like things might get a bit rowdy potentially. It's going to we'll get mental. Can keep... Yeah. I feel like, do we need to keep them under control? I think they no. need... Yeah, they're messy. <laughs> <laughs> they just like, no, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> no, it can't about. be I'm worse just, than I'm just going to put a disclaimer <laughs> on, the, on the video saying there's going to be a lot of foul language because I'm giving up on the whole... <laughs> yeah, I, ain't, I ain't censoring that shit. <laughs> <laughs> we won't have a swear jar up for that day, all right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, okay, plugs are over. Yes? Sorry, yeah, Do you have any yeah. more plugs? You may move no. on. David, David, go on. Just I... David, just just plug it. Just plug it. I'm not plugging anything. Oh, okay, fair, fair enough. Right, I do <laughs> want to hear. I Your topic is, is one of the ones I was interested in because I, I genuinely, I've, I've been... So, 
bit of background. We do talk about some of the topics that we're going to do. And like, it, I don't sometimes... know about this one. Oh, David, you'll find on, out in tell a second. Us the topic. Well, no, it's just okay. what well, yeah, products. You're, you're about to tell us what products do you stand by? What products have you bought in your life where like this is brilliant? I will always have to have this in my life. Because it just works absolute wonders, you know. Be it be it Why drinks, be it, be it cameras, <laughs> be it you know cleaning supplies and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just wondering, like, what is the what the, the the products that you just can't help but brag to people about? Like the first thing that came to my head, and this sounds really really stupid, yeah. But and I can't think what the brand is, which I know it's not very good stuff. <laughs> but um, at a lot of the moto services, they sell these. Um, phone holders are basically they stick onto like they kind of permanently stick onto your dashboard as such at least the magnet but, ones the, but the magnetic yeah I've and they had are them. and i've i every single new truck i've got i've gone out and i've gone and bought one it's coming like a black and yellow package and they are absolutely brilliant the best thing i like is because you can get them like with the back of you put them on the back of the phone i like can have a popper with it so you can put your fingers slot your fingers in your phone and you can hold it like that uh, can yeah, yeah, they're a nuisance day to day with like your phone's got an extra bubble on the back. But they and pop you try... in. Yeah. Well, the, the one that I've got, like, I've just, just it comes like a little metal plate, and you put it between the, the cover and the case. And the phone, well, yeah. I keep and it's just I keep my metal plate right here in the back. You know, it's as yes, you can see. So it's... you've got one. Oh, absolutely! That was actually one of my products I was going to mention. <laughs> <laughs> was it really? It was. I, it actually I, genuinely. Was. Yeah, uh, genuinely, they are uh, absolutely. I, have to, and, uh, I know there's you know? a few of them, but they are superb. Now, I used to keep it in the inside, but it just wasn't as good. So sometimes I literally will throw my phone onto it, you know, and it'll stick in whatever you way it has, you know. Can, can you just, you can literally chuck it on there and it, it works. The it. only thing is the wireless charging doesn't work. Correct. With on there. That's, and I've given uh, up which caring yeah. about Although, that. Although I have seen you that can, they, do, yeah. they do a version. Yeah, they with, do, where you can just stick it on where, like where a can, magnet. Yeah. And, it, and it'll wireless charge yeah. and it'll be magnetic, which is just bitching. Let's be honest. That's Absolutely. great. No, I love it. I love it. Uh, I, I can't. I can't. That's one thing I have to have. Even if I'm going to be driving for four days, you know, I still will make sure that I'll mount. Yes. Because it's a double. It's oh, the, 100%. The, the, yeah. The 3M sticky pad. You know, the, I find that that works the best. And, I'm, I'm uh, going to yeah. I'm gonna let Kevin go next because I think I know exactly what he's going to say. <laughs> Kevin, oh, just I say it. I... I know what kind of fanboy you are. You've already said something in the, in the chat. Just say what? it. What? Beer? Yeah. But, well. No, 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 not that. I, I, you were like, hey, it was a. Will, will this work on iMac and Apple Pad Pro? <laughs> I was like, oh, here we go. We've got one of them. What? Oh, no, you guys are uh, Android. <laughs> no. Oh. You, you lot seem to think you've unplugged from the <laughs> Matrix. Or Apple something, iPhone? Yeah. No yeah. way. We have. Uh, no, right. In all fairness, I, I do have... It's, it's more of a... It's more of a list of items shall we say like it's not one item per se that i enjoy but it's basically the middle aisle at aldi oh i love that aisle like, <laughs> like uh, and... unnecessary stuff that you go exactly. oh my lord i need this is here you're gonna have to elaborate on that now for okay, the people so... who are over in america you guys have <laughs> right. got little now how do we so, how do we explain it so imagine imagine a store that sells all your essential goods from foods and whatnot uh, and predominantly food well, by the way no 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 it sells some of the essential <laughs> goods but they're all but they, but they had they had this they had this advertising campaign where basically it's not named brands but they like, I it's, like it's this like the one, same factory but it? I also like this one as well and you're like you know you don't you like yeah. the original. <laughs> Shut the up. I know it's cheaper, but don't come up with that. But actually, it's it's basically a store that has all you know your 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 normal goods. It's copy whatnot. brands, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. like, you, uh, they, a fraction they have, of the you, cost. And uh, but you, you know, you've got it out there now. Is it Audi or Lidl that have how now moved out to you guys? In I've America? never. I haven't seen them. Because it's my well, my brother lives in Phoenix and he literally has got one in his hometown now. He's like, oh my god, it's like being at home. It's amazing. Yeah, oh, but right. e- even as a Brit, I know the reputation of Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> so, so David, do you know do you know when you're walking around Walmart? Yeah, and like they've got the little baskets of like things that they've clearly bought cheap from China, 
and they're trying to flog it all. Do oh, it's like a special, about? like, oh, a Chinese yes. special. Or Imagine that, but an entire row. And you walk down it, and even though you know it's crap, and even though you know it's it, it's not nice, there's something about going down, and you look, and there's tools. And they've, yeah. got, like a, <laughs> they've got like a 15-piece screwdriver set, and you think, oh, that's really you came there. You, <laughs> mean, <isn't laughs> like, you go there for nappies, uh, and you come out with a drill, uh, a, a crossfit <laughs> trainer, uh, a yoga mat, which it, I've never it, done yoga in my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, from by the way, I, this is why I can't, I'm not allowed to go Aldi by myself now. I have to. But it's not even, like, the trouble is, it's not even that cheap. It's just like knock off versions, like the exactly. CN or whatever it's called. You're like, well, it's the it's same cra- price anywhere like, else. I, I remember <laughs> walking down there and saying, I sent to a at the time, I was like, this is all absolute dog yeah, yeah. no one will buy any of this and she goes right well i'm gonna go down there and i just having a look and about five minutes later i turn up and i've got a an electric screwdriver and I'm, like, I'm gonna be honest yeah i'm buying it because i feel like i'm gonna use it i use it twice i used it twice that was about it it was really good when i did use it but there's no use for it other than that um wow this is a tangent immediately uh-huh. yeah. david what else have you got well i actually Love the Magic Eraser. I I know it sounds silly, but that's the for magic... the car, isn't it? No, it's for cleaning uh, hard surfaces. You know, you I wouldn't. Oh, recommend... that's yeah, like yeah. the white sponge. Is that that yeah. one? I uh, yeah, yeah. I will win so many arguments with that in a way of like, dude, why don't you use the Magic Eraser? Oh, it won't work. As I you know go to the car because I always have them. You know, and uh... my only thing, <laughs> no, the Magic Eraser is we don't have it here. Oh, which makes me wonder. We do have it here. Do we have you might a magic have, we, eraser? We, it doesn't matter as we long as the version of the magic eraser. It. Yeah. But it's it not will... called that per se. But it, yeah, oh, but... is it not? Is it different branding? Dude, I move we like every here, two though. years and I have to scrub up every property that I move into, right? I get posted out every two, three years. And that's magical. <laughs> like, I agree with Dave. Like that's, that's Yeah, like essentials. you could you could spill, you know, food coloring on a table. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you could scrub it forever w- w- with a sponge and soap, nothing will happen, you know, but the magic eraser will get it out in, in seconds. I know it, it sounds like it sounds brand. very much like an ad. <laughs> it does. It does, it does sound like an ad. Blue I'm water is yeah. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's just that's the number one product for me that I just will always stand by, and I will always have a box of them, and I will always da- recommend. Da- it. I will say, David in the chat, he, he, he gave some examples, and he was like, "I, uh, you know, like tech products, cleaning products." Well, I did think to myself, what? and the thing is, he mentioned cleaning products several times <laughs> which made me think there's something Secretly. just actually one second david are you getting paid by magic eraser <laughs> no <laughs> no <Secret plug-in. laughs> magic eraser oh. now available on all good supermarket shelves go to salmonslap.com with salad <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, what kind of uh, products do you uh, do you like that you just like absolutely love and you keep buying? Oh my lord! Um, I don't know. I don't the, really the, buy products. I've started buying pink. You hair don't dye. buy products. I love it. You do not buy products. <laughs> Your house is currently bare. There is nothing in there. You are like. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and live off grade. You do not buy a single I can't, product. No, but I can't think you know, like something really awesome that's amazing and changes your just life. Just have a general just appreciation like really for everything. Yeah, just everything's really but, helpful. You know, it's, it's, it, it, it can just be something like when when you walk into a shop you're gonna like you know what it is you're gonna get and you're I not like gonna buy oil. anything else. It helps you brush your hair. Hair oil? Yeah. There you go. What? Yeah, David knows uh product. What you're on about. It means I can brush my hair. I've got long hair. <laughs> right? It gets naughty. <laughs> David's got beard oil. Same thing. Wait. Yeah. Have you trimmed your beard? No. When? It's two it years ago. It doesn't look as straight. No. It looks, it looks, it used to be flatter at the bottom. Oh, like a month ago, I might have, you know, it depends which way. I thought where, as Where's much, the camera? Yeah. Like, you know, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it grows like weirdly. It depends how it, it depends yeah, how it I bloody uh, This is brushes. great for everyone who's <laughs> listening to the podcast. <laughs> this is great storytelling. <laughs> Just imagine a tidier Gandalf. <laughs> hey, mate, I can do the same Gandalf thing. can't pull off the beard like well. <laughs> I um I was trying to think of what, what other things. Obviously there's 
<laughs> okay. Don't really, I mean, is there I, certain t-shirts that you have to have, a certain brand? Because there's this one t-shirt that I have is like the softest thing ever. Primani. And, well, okay. D- that's never what heard of it. Primani. 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 No way. Primark. How have you never heard Primark? It's, yeah, it's like a. It's like Armani, but Primark. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the what? Aldi version of clothes. If you imagine, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I'm talking like there's there's Primani, no, sorry, there's yeah. there's Umbro, and then there's Primani. So I know I know Umbro. I've heard of that one before. How have you not heard of Primark? Have you ever oh, David, have you ever heard of David, Under Armour? Yes. Yeah, I heard about Under Armour. Okay, yeah. that's a that's a product that a lot of people. Wear. Yeah, they like. Yeah, that's a really good yeah. uh, brand. Yeah, that's quite nice and well, soft. Well, like, actually, well. computers. I can actually talk about computers. That is, um, I think my past three laptops. Because I get for what I do, I get quite high end laptops. And Ooh. I go for I uh, know it's so <laughs> Mardi Gras. Um, I go for a company called Utopia Laptops or Utopia Computers. Uh, well, the custom built. Oh, okay. the, the custom built in. Uh, they're, they're actually they're built in Scotland, and they are phenomenal. Like the service is absolutely it's unparalleled, and like um. Okay. How many yeah, laptops the, do you the, go through to like know yeah, this? To, to work out their service. <laughs> the seventh oh, one I, I always have... came so quick. They're that good, <laughs> I break them instantly. <laughs> I um I put my laptop in because these things here, well I'll say laptop, it's it's not. They're not classed as a laptop. They're Tablet. classed as a as a desktop replacement. Yes. Because they're so big. It it requires two power packs to power it. Oh god, this it's, it's serious. Like, like the power packs, they're massive. They're massive. Each power pack is 350 watts, which if you don't know about computers, that is extreme. So it's like 600 plus watts between a laptop. It's yeah, it's but the, mega. The normal person doesn't need that, do they? So Oh no, it's 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 someone who's like definitely anal retentive. Or a geek. And someone that can <laughs> Yeah. Love the electricity yeah. prizes that come with them as well. Yeah, too right. <laughs> I will say at the moment with electricity Ooh. prices, if I have had to plug cupboard. one of them and I've had to reduce power to most of it. <laughs> I'm in the same boat actually because so, I I recently purchased a, uh, one of those types of laptops, but it was pre-made by Asus Asus Rog. Asus, yeah. I'm hopefully I'm pronounced. I'm is not it butchering. Rog or is it R O G? I never know because it's Republic of hmm. Gamers. Is it what it stands for? But yeah. I mean, they oh, didn't put the full also, stops. it's not Asus. What is well, it? Well, by the way, this is going super. Nerdy. It's Asus. Tom coming in with a plug in. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, honestly, you're an it's, Asus. It's, it's pronounced <laughs> Asus. Asus. And which it, they, they had a marketing campaign because it's supposed to be Pegasus. So it's Asus, which. Why not just, just call it Pegasus? It, That's just stupid. Uh, it, uh, it, it just, it just, it, it makes me. Uh, uh, well, it, it makes me as amused as my kids recently finding out that there is a planet called Uranus. <laughs> oh, which God. Yeah. Good luck they are very happy about this information. About. When you're at school, that is amazing news. That it's is a so fun. Yeah, that's like your science. But that's not how it's God, pronounced, yeah. though. What? It's Uranus. Oh, David. Mm. <laughs> you, do you watch <laughs> Futurama? <laughs> do you watch Futurama? <laughs> people change that. People change the name to stop that ridiculous joke. It's now called Eurectum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Kevin, yes. I swear to God, we do talk about trucks and the trucking podcast. <laughs> It's Far not from it. going well, though. Which is yeah. chockers. That's all it is. I, I, I've, yeah. I've, got a, I've got a question for Kevin. Now, you uh, you, have a re- you do reviews, correct? What do you uh, review? The shifts that I do. So I, I predominantly work for different agencies and just uh, do oh, different okay. types so of shifts. So the emphasis of the channel was reviewing the different type of work that I do. Oh, that's oh, quite cool. I thought it was like... Uh, by, giving a, by giving an insight, not... not uh, this this truck gets a six out of two. Do you know what I mean? Uh, six out of two. <laughs> I um, you it's know really what? good. Two out of ten. Times. This is quite a good idea, actually. This is genuinely yeah, something I something thought different. about. I I thought about doing Tem- doing something Tom, like this. All you do is tippers. 
Shut How the fuck can up. you do that? Right. <laughs> no, no, I, oh, I chip us like 10 I, out of 10. I, I, Woohoo! Well, it, it was it was Dazza that actually kind of got me onto thinking about it and actually going going around and trying out the different jobs and stuff like that. The only issue is there are um and I don't think I don't think you've got the same issue yet, Kevin. Yeah. But as the channel grows, I find that companies for some reason in the thing is they should have taken a long time they, to explain this. <laughs> get the top yeah, no, please. No, 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 like no, a boy. Just, just, let, 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 just, just, just give me a second. Sorry. Like, companies, they, they, they I, sometimes I feel like I'm gonna have to edit this down. The words, social media, and they immediately <laughs> themselves, and they're like, "Oh my god, social media! We cannot <laughs> have that out there." But the fact is. I think it, when you're when you're doing social media, I mean, prime example. I think it's a positive one, 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 I, I genuinely think one of the best examples is David. He's a phenomenal. Uh, no, no, just uh, like listen. I, I, this just, David? Yes, you. Yeah, you, you, David. Yes, you. You bell ah. because <laughs> because I think that whereas I think maybe me and Chloe. Uh, Step yes, carefully. we try to we we, we try to represent <laughs> we try to represent the, represent the company in the best way possible. Yeah, but it, we are there's a lot of a lot of extra personality that goes into it, which some people can get offended by. Whereas David is a very uh, educational, factual sort of. This is this yeah, is but what I think that's because David I, actually kind of knows what he's on about. I've lived. You, I've lived. Are it? you saying that we don't? <laughs> Oh, no, we don't actually know that, yeah. Like, no, I, I get what you're I, I saying, know. though. I think you're right in, have, in a certain have, way. Have you had any pushback, Kevin, on... Like, have, have you have you had any pushback on companies not happy with your recording? So this is the beauty about it. Um, he doesn't care. I don't <laughs> depend... Yeah, I don't give a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, like, I'm in a sweet position where this is something I do part-time. Um... And, you know, if, if that happens, then cool, scrap it, move on to the next one. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't waste any time or, or I don't get, kind of get uh, caught up in it, should I say? Have you, ha- have you had any companies that are not very happy with it? Not really. I mean, the, I, I, I explained to the agencies I sign up with that I'm doing this and, you know, this, you know, my MO and stuff. So please let the employers that are needing me um know that this is something that i do um i and, do i uh, do think you are in a very unique position yeah definitely i think a to... lot of people that are learning like have just learned to drive would go to your channel just to see the experiences you get so they yeah, kind I mean, of know what they're in for it really. i i agency is the best way to learn yeah i because the thing is everything that i put up content wise is issues and stuff me addressing stuff that i spent years of mistake like loads of times making these mistakes and going through these issues and not having anyone to kind of ask about or not or i did ask but they weren't very forthcoming should i say uh so i thought you know what fuck it. i'm gonna do this fuck make me. make the mistakes <laughs> yeah make the mistakes and um hopefully That's provide right, people yeah. with a bit of a don't do this or by the way utilize these agencies on these type of shifts or these type these type of job opportunities as a way of getting the experience that you need for that stepping stone of potentially getting that good job or not not necessarily the dream job but you know uh with that in mind and to be honest i i started off with the purpose of this as uh, i love driving always have done done it since i was 17 and i um during covid done a lot of like media production stuff with like my work work um like you know, uh, military advertisement videos and stuff like that um, and all of that stuff. And I just put both of them together and I decided, yeah, this is actually something I really love to do. And if you love doing it, then like you said, when you do meet that, those negative comments or those idiots, or if you have anything like that company saying, you know, we don't want anything to do with that or, or your negative stuff, all of that stuff, you are literally in the position of, well, I love doing this anyway. Uh, I don't see it as a job. I don't see it as a source of income i just yeah. see it as something i love to do so on to the next one see you later it it's it's a hobby that does earn you some extra cash that that is what, that yeah is what yeah of course yeah yeah definitely 
Um, and don't get wrong, I think I have some issues with people saying, oh, you must be earning this and that and that. You are wildly mistaken. <laughs> if, you, if you think I'm earning that amount of money, then you are very mistaken. I, I would love to, but it's I mean, not likely. <laughs> I'm happy enough to... I'm, I'll, I'll even be open as to say the fact that I'm not even at the stage where I'm earning 10p a month from it. So I'm like, there is nothing gained financially for me on this at the minute. Um, but if there is, then it, it's a it's bonus. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's to help share. If you, I, yeah. I've always like, I've researched YouTubers a lot and I've always, um, I've always been a YouTube kind of kid uh, growing up. And the one thing that sticks out from every single person, and you guys might be able to vouch for this, is that if you don't start off doing it because you like doing it, you'll eventually just stop doing it. Um, yeah. If the success doesn't come or if you hit kind of like a, a, a climax or a, a, sorry, a plateau or, you know, you're starting not to get the same traction, you'll just stop doing it. So I yeah. don't know. What's your thoughts on it? My thoughts are if you enjoy doing it, then regardless of what the, the outcome, you know, you'll keep going with it. Yes, but, and I, I, don't, know if, I don't know if you guys ever find that where you're putting out a video and... So I've I've just I've put out a couple of videos which I'm I, I've been very happy with. I feel like I've put the maximum amount of effort into, and my, the videos that I do are highly highly edited. There are yeah. um, potentially on on some videos in excess of ten hours of editing. That's, oh, that's so not you do recording. put a lot of effort into it. A, a, a huge amount, and you kind of you do everything that you need to do, and then you put out this 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 thing and you look at the thing and you're thinking why did I bother why did I bother when you when you you, when you realize you spent three hours in your in your room (laughs) exactly and you're thinking well no it's like it's literally like 10 hours that's like that's a full full Saturday afternoon going out and doing things and I've just done that and I'm getting like and it comes up and I hate it. I hate it, but I also love it at the same time. The analytics where it shows um, what yeah, place that video comes yeah. up and it comes and goes. It's it's running an eight out of ten, <laughs> and you're like, you I know put what? so much effort. But then you find I, the ones on. you the ones you don't put effort into, and you just think, oh, I just get a video out just for you know. I've enjoyed doing it. Quickly get it out, and then that does like amazingly well. And you're like, oh no, no. I put no <laughs> effort yeah, into this. Listening. You put this thing, and you've got a nice clickbait title. Yeah. You've got some really good stuff going on there. You've posted <laughs> it on social media, and then it's doing terrible. And then that other one that you've put out, which you, 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 you just, just shoved you just it fumbled out. out there, yeah. And, uh, and it's coming at number one. And you're thinking. How? How, How is this literally... possible right now? <laughs> Why does YouTube hate me? Why does it's it hate so me? It's <laughs> so random. It's really random. Right. What was the original topic? Products? I, I think know. it was a question <laughs> I was from a question. David, David to myself. Oh, it's yours. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> wow. We 20 tangents later, there. we are back to uh, David now. <laughs> right. Welcome to the Tangent Podcast. <laughs> right. Shall we have Kevin? I'm interested to... to so Kevin's is a, is a revisit, but it's always yeah. a very fun revisit. Oh no, what is it? I wanted to bring in and get your your experiences on this, um, on what are some of the worst things that you've done as a trucker. Huh. Um, <laughs> you know, they can be. You know, we've all. I, by the way, I want to clarify on this. If you're listening to this, okay, just know that you have also. <laughs> okay, when <laughs> within your first few months of trucking, you. <laughs> so don't judge me okay just listen <laughs> um, but yeah i wanted to pose that forward and just basically ask everyone like what what are your biggest f- and um what i or, think or I what other we should do cups you've you've um, witnessed or seen on social media say, no 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 no, no. I, I, I see i'm i'm not i'm not really sure what the question is um I, could you could you give us an example oh <laughs> thanks Tom. Uh, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay right this this one oh this is gonna suck but right just bear in mind. Okay. Whatever it so, is, it's a one of us, if it. not all of <laughs> yeah. us can beat it. <laughs> I don't know. This one's uh, pretty substantial. Um, right. So uh, this was back in like you know, my young army days. I was um, I was driving a fuel tanker, shall we say. And we had about 20. Oh, no. This yeah. is not going to go no. well. I was in Canada. <laughs> I was 18 in Canada. Recently passed all my uh, my stuff and that fully qualified. Um, right, Kev, you know, take this fuel tanker to this grid location. Blah blah blah. Right, so I go down there. Got twenty tons of fuel um, in the back, 
and I start going, boom, get to where I need to go. And I start setting up, you know, this kind of mobile petrol station type thing, um, as you can kind of imagine. Um, the problem is that when we fill up certain certain tanks and stuff, these the, 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 the hoses are pressurized to what you set. You can set them up to pump out like 100 liters a second. It's crazy. So I had turned, I didn't realize I had turned the valve up quite a lot. Oh, no. So yeah. I had turned the valve up <laughs> a lot and boom, ready to go. And as soon as I press this nozzle, because of the pressure, it wouldn't stop coming out. As soon as I pressed it, I, I literally hundreds of <laughs> liters of fuel just started going up everywhere. And you're in the middle <laughs> of like, kind of like nothing's there. It's just you and a couple of boys <laughs> watching this fuel just spill out everywhere. Uh, I'm like a deer in headlights, just trying to keep this hose from like knocking someone out. No one else knows how to stop the fuel in the truck. Because well, they're like, all it's there in the to air, get... going everywhere. Oh, it's it's gone. Is it, are you talking? Is this like a fireman's? You know I've... the fireman's hoses that you yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like a fireman's hose. Like this thing that, is. That's what we're talking. That that thick, right? For oh those guys Lord. that are, <laughs> for those guys that are listening to this, okay, you know, it's round about the width of your neck, so to speak. Um, and this hose, <laughs> I'm on top of one, trying to basically stop it from going, like riding it like a like a horse, <laughs> and I'm failing miserable at this. Like by the way. This... <laughs> I am fake. Like I have failed already. Like before it's, and then the other ones, no one's on it, and no one knew how to stop it. Um, and about three minutes went by. I decided to ditch it. I hit the stop button. Um, and yeah, that that was that was my story on on you know. Fuck up. I basically spilt about five five tons of of diesel in in the uh, middle of Canada. Really. Wow. So that was great. Yeah. Where did where in Canada? Is that what you said? Medicine Hat near Vancouver. Well, oh, that was a good reference because no, currently no. with fuel prices, <laughs> well, we, that's, that's, that's worth money right now. <laughs> the cherry on the top is, right, the cherry on the top is, if you spill fuel out in, certain pla- in, in that area, because it's a national kind of trust area, they yeah. have to dig, for every 500 litres, they have to dig a certain amount. So now there is a crater that everyone now knows <laughs> as Crater Kent. Because, no way. Um, yeah, oh, this, hey, like, this one's big. Like, <laughs> this is big. Like, everyone, every squaddy out there knows like this thing's the like, crater cat. <laughs> oh, oh. So, yeah. That That's was great. That's amazing. Yeah. That's better than my I'll neighbor. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> that is... The yeah, I'll best see you in a bit. one I think we've ever heard. <laughs> Great to Kev. I, it, I can't even, I can't even top that one. That. Yeah, we I, actually I can't, can't top that. I genuinely... I'm trying to think of what... I, 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 Someone please, uh, come on, think a bit quicker. I think I <laughs> Let's can. move on for Crater Crater. Okay. I know, the, bit, the most damage I, I've done, or the, mo- the most costly thing I, I believe I did... Oh, let's talk costly, yes. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I, I can't imagine, I don't remember how much it was, but I... There was a... And uh, you know an awning? Do you call it an awning over there? Basically, it covers the trailers when they're backed up to the dock. You know, just a, a roof. Just a basically. roofy bit, yeah. A roofy bit, but anyway, it was like twenty docks <laughs> long. Uh, but it covered it covered the truck and the trailer, so it was very long as well, deep wise. You know what I mean? So when you're backed up, you're you're in shadow. You know, and uh, of course they had me back up into uh, I don't know dock ten, ten or eleven. All right, but there was a pole. Right next to it. All right. Big yellow pole. Couldn't miss it. You could not miss this pole. Doesn't matter or whatever. Right. All right. That's cool. All right. So I, and there was no docks. The, the, the parking lot was completely empty. There was more, there was way more than enough room for, uh, for setting up. All right. So I set myself up. I'm like, all right, there's the, uh, I'm looking in my, I can't remember, left or right hand mirror or whatever. I didn't actually, I didn't stick my head out the window because I was perfectly set up straight. All right. There's the yellow pole. Well, okay. I'm just going to keep backing up. Keep backing up. There's the yellow pole. Backing up. Let's, let's adjust a little bit. And all of a sudden, I came to a stop. What the fuck? Why am I? Why am I stopping? <laughs> and I'm like, I just, you know, maybe, maybe I ran over. I, I hit a, I don't know, a chalk or something. You know, maybe a wheel chalk. Okay, so I, I get out. <gasps> oh, fuck. I told <laughs> the pole I was looking at. There was actually two poles. One was halfway down the dock, and one was oh, actually in the no. front. So the pole that I was looking That's at... That's not fixable. That doesn't sound fixable. Yeah, so basically <laughs> that awning was now... was now Because I, I ended up knocking that, that concrete pole out of the ground. And now <laughs> the awning now the awning was uh, pointing downwards, you know. And uh, so basically <laughs> it was... Instead of this, it was this. <laughs> I know. Right, sorry, for, right. sorry for the audio people. I just don't know. I, I tried audio. <laughs> but anyway, so Have I... Have seen... 
the <laughs> America, the guy doing uh, kept being caught on one of them things. The poles. The, the this poles. Is, on the floor. Yeah, this is why I brought this up because I wanted to ask you lot if you had seen the video. Is that the one where he gets he, stuck? He, and gets, then he, he gets the cab we've through. Seen that. He gets the cab through. Yeah, and David, then, we 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 posted this we on the group it, where. We? It, it was an American trucker, and it, it, it was obviously in a duck dock somewhere. And the, the, the bollards that you're talking about, the kind of the ones that are in the ground, I don't know if he hadn't seen it. No, he's definitely or... seen it. But... No, this is oh, this no, is yeah, different yeah. than what David was talking about. So, Dave, yeah. we're, we're on about the, you know, the bollards that are on the floor, maybe in front of, like, important buildings uh, and places like that that they yeah. don't want vehicles to go through. Absolutely. So these solid concrete blocks, uh, uh, bollards like that, um, were there and he managed to get the cab through but he didn't manage to get the trailer through and i think he was just that pissed off with life itself he just floored that it, he, he thought <laughs> he thought screw it i'm just gonna fucking floor it and see what happens and <laughs> obviously it rips the, it rips oh the yeah. no i i yes i remember that i remember that the chassis is underneath and, and it keeps over going over the uh now here yeah. is basically that's, that's the part that gets me it's the <laughs> fact that he just just keep going at the end of it shit. is like yep yeah, it's it's, it's damage is done. Let's just do it. <laughs> All right. So we had some technical uh, difficulties there. So uh, let's carry on. Welcome, welcome back, Kevin. <laughs> he has a phone you. charger now. Yeah. <laughs> so are you amazing. charging from the? Uh, are you charging from the? I honestly, feel like electrical issues. But if I showed you the the setup right now, <laughs> it's, <okay. laughs> it's bad. It's I bad. Need at, I need to be at home for this. This is like. This is like when you're 12 years old and you're but, trying to record a YouTube video and all next you've got time. is like a dash cam that you found off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> ne- next time, we'll nail it, son. We'll nail it, son. All right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, we were talking about that. Uh, yeah, he was that video that, that, that you've all seen right now. He basically uh, he ripped, the, ripped the back axle off and just oh, drove off. And he just I love kept this. going. I want to interview that guy. I'm like, what were your thoughts when you kept going? <laughs> yeah. Because now you were driving with so no axles real. whatsoever. <laughs> Your, your tires I, I, are I, are behind your truck. <laughs> just drag it. The thing in. is, we like we've so, all driven as well, so it's not like he could be like, "Oh, I thought, you know, I didn't feel anything pulling." Like, no, you, you definitely <laughs> did, mate. Like, <laughs> you David, your, yours couldn't have been that bad, though. Oh, it wasn't. No, it wasn't that bad. But as in, like, the cost. I don't know. It's just when the because uh, I because I ripped that concrete pole out of the ground. Like it was out of the ground, and now that that uh, that roof is now. Pointing downwards towards my trailer, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> Technically, realistically, there was no, there wasn't that much damage done to my uh, to, to my trailer. There's a little bit of a damage up on top because it was pretty solid up there where I hit. And uh, yeah, you know, again, they had to use a crane. I, I from what I heard, because um, I was I was fired. <laughs> They, they 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 straight oh, up fired me oh, wow. for that one. Yeah, because that was wow. it was just like uh, I was I don't know I, I I was confident. I didn't think I was just backing up. There was I didn't have any obstacles. I just you know I just you know whatever. I just that would probably you yeah. know I backed up thousands of times before that. <laughs> you know I just I, I was just stupid. You know oh, I think wow. they fired me for a good reason. Listen, you know? the fact <laughs> is you're an idiot. You yeah, know, absolutely. You and a, I fucking learned. You, you hit a roof. <laughs> You hit a roof, something that which I have <laughs> I have never done anything whoa, so whoa, stupid whoa, as to whoa. hit a roof. Hang right. on a minute. What I don't think do we need to talk about anymore. No, 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 Go on. I, I have different Kevin. beverages, right? I, I want to get your thoughts on this because I've got different beverages for like different occasions, if that sounds okay. So like yeah, yeah. Family, family barbecue, right? You'll have a, a couple of beers, a couple of lagers, a couple of um, IPAs if you're feeling fancy. Um, and then like nights out, you know, you just have. Oh, yeah. Like, I, IPAs. Those those IPAs. Like the, yeah. Indian Chloe, pale ales. Yeah, they're cool. Chloe's. Thing. Yeah. What a, like if I'm Chloe, having like a chilled. What an IPA. It's an Indian what? pale ale. Is it from what? India? Indian no. pale ale. Are you British, ale, mate? What's going on here? <laughs> Have you never heard of it? That's what it's called. No. I'm Clearly going to change your 
fucking it's life, like mate. A, it's, Go it's to a shop craft and beer. buy. It's if you like beer, I hate beer, but I've been told it's good. <laughs> It's nice. It's I, I don't really like it. It's very hoppy. There is, there is this. Yes, they, they're hoppy. making very, they make it very dark and mm. very strong tasting. And I'm not a fan. I don't mind drinking it after I've had like five other beers that I do like. <laughs> Does that make yeah, sense? See, you ever find yourself it. able to drink a lot more of other stuff that you wouldn't normally drink? Yeah, it, I think it occurs IPAs to me that this is now. going out on Monday morning. And there's drivers that are currently <laughs> sat, and all we're going to do is talk about alcohol. And all oh. I can say is, we don't care. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pissed. I don't care. Um, see, I like cider, but I also like venturing out on like a little pina colada and things like that. And then if I really oh. want to go crazy, I love a just a, you know like amaretto, just a bit of ice. Oh, so good. I love nice. I love my Bailey's and ice. I really love that straight, but, but yeah. I can't. But I Have... can't drink it without ice. I can, so I I can't drink it straight out of the bottle. It just is absolutely terrible. Like water, it needs to it's got to be, ice be cold. W- watered down a tiny bit. Yeah, like, you got a bit yeah. of ice. Or at least ice cold. There's there's a new yeah. one called you know like amaretto. So I love amaretto, and there's now an amaretto oh. white or something, and it's basically Bailey's and amaretto in one. I really want to try Ooh. that. L- listen, no. I I am a six foot ten behemoth of a cumbrian northern just man i I do like a glass of white gin (laughs) fandel i also like like a a disarano and coke uh they're they're my go-tos um don't like beer there you go Uh, to be fair the, the older i'm getting like you know the less the less beer i'm liking uh, but more so for what it's doing to me. Like, well, I was going to say, is, is that, are you are you enjoying the beer less, or are you just enjoying the effect less? No, the, the effects still, re, re, you know, remain the same. But my wallet and kidneys, it's you know, it's a bit of a <laughs> different situation. It's the hangovers like, that get worse. Though, yeah, I mean, to, literally. I think I think the the problem was like when you're like young, when you're under. When you're under 25, this is my experience. Uh, I'm sorry for the tangent. When you're under 25, like you can drink like serious yeah. amounts, wake yeah. up, and your body's like cool, like you, you, just get you're on with okay, it. Do it you know. Again. Yeah. Just get on with it. You got a day of you know whatever. After 25, like now, what I'm finding out, I'm 26 by the way. If you're listening, I know I look young <laughs> if you're looking at the video, but nonetheless, when <laughs> when uh, when I got to like 25, 26, and like I woke up the next morning, oh. God, like just death. I just felt like death. Like just I now need a day off after my day off. <laughs> I mean, like... me, me and David, obviously, as someone, we, we, we're just we're we're about twenty six. Oh ourselves. yeah, totally. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm actually we, twenty. I just turned twenty seven. Yeah, yeah, you're looking, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm actually I'm almost twenty seven. <laughs> a few. A few decades ago. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fuck you, Chloe. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, anyway, like we are looking ago. for a new co-host. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kevin, you interested? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a young one lined well, up here. <laughs> I, just give me, just give me more electricity, and you know, not a house party, and then we'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. A roof uh, would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. I'm under a gazebo, by the way, and it's chipping down a little bit, just just to set the tone a little bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fine. We, we appreciate the levels. We, we appreciate yeah, the effort that you've gone to. But good we, good we, topic, we've... Chloe. Um, yeah, uh, those You're those welcome. are my go-to drinks. Just just letting you guys know. I'm a I'm a beer guy. I I've been drinking beer since I was. Mom, this is where you uh, you turn off the podcast. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, I beer since I was 14, <laughs> and uh, you know, but uh, as in like, uh, but. I know. I just, so I didn't mind Guinness, it. Though, I, I have, Irish, or I know. Just... Actually, you know, weirdly enough, I actually, I don't drink Guinness in Ireland. I drink Guinness in America, oh, okay. which is See, was like, like why is it different? It is different. I think Guinness in Ireland is very uh, sour. I would say I think sour is the word or bitter. Okay. And I'm just, I'm not, not a big fan. And here's the thing. Now, when I um, growing up, I, I, I tried Guinness once. And uh, I drank it. I drank it the entire night because there was, there was a promotion. You got the every time you oh, bought a Guinness. No. If you bought a Guinness, you get you get you got a scratch <laughs> card, and then you would scratch oh. out the the num- whatever, and it would whatever year uh, price the Guinness cost on that particular year. Sorry, whatever however much the Guinness cost on that year, that's how much you actually paid for your next Guinness. And so sometimes I was only paying a penny, 
or five pence or whatever. I'm like, cool. You know what I mean? So we, we all got, again, I'll drink in as if it's that cheap. <laughs> but I, I remember that it was just, ter- it was just terrible. And I just, I avoided it afterwards for like, for years and years and years and years and years. And then somebody could, in America. Could it not be that the fact that the barrel was pretty much done and they were trying to get rid of it? <laughs> <laughs> so I know, right? <laughs> Um, no, but and then, and then five years later in America, somebody bought me a Guinness. I'm like, oh, I hate Guinness. I'm like, God, it was it was it was, bo- it was in a box. Bo- it was in a box. It was in a box. Why did you buy it to you? Because you're Irish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I ended up loving it. The weird thing about it, I ended up loving. It. I was thinking, oh, all right, may- maybe now that my, I'm, I'm older, you know, taste your, your taste buds change. You start liking stuff that you didn't like when you were a kid or whatever, right? And all that kind of stuff. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. So I started drinking Guinness all the time. Then I went back to Ireland. I'm like thinking, as in like, all right, let's get let's get an extra nice pint. All right, so I asked for a Guinness. I'm like, oh, that was this tastes just like it was when I was a kid. I was like, so oh, really? right, okay, oh, it is wow. just. That's just how David, it tastes. What, yeah. What about um have you tried one from the Guinness factory? I'd like your thoughts I have. on that. I've been to, I've been to the one in Dublin and it and was And what do you same. think? Yeah, no, it was it was yeah. the same. It it, it was same. it tasted just like it is in a, anywhere <laughs> anywhere in Ireland, but uh, the bottled ones in America or even the pint ones from the tap or whatever, right? They they just taste different. I don't know what, what what's going on. I thought it was uh, I thought it was just a, a, maybe a mental thing, but no, it's just like I straight up just <laughs> Do not like Guinness in Ireland. I know we've lost all really random, the Irish subscribers right now, and I'm really sorry that I have failed you guys. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, yeah. it's just yeah. See, most <laughs> here's the thing: I most think... Americans, when they come to Ireland and they have a pint, they say that, that, that Guinness tastes way better, ten times better in in, in Ireland than it does in America. And like, placebo effect. Okay, like... fair enough. Yeah, it's because you're in Ireland, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm a beer oh, guy. I'm a, there you go. My favorite yeah, is but... actually uh, Widmere Hefeweizen. Uh, there's a brewery up in Portland, Oregon. They make Never it. Never heard of he- it. Yeah, Hefeweizen Never is, uh, heard of it. is quite... Never heard of it. Sounds it's... random. Okay, have you, have you heard of Blue Moon? Yes. Nope. It's, they it's usually the put same... the orange slice on the top. Yeah, it's actually in the same category as that, but you actually prefer... But most but, uh, but most Hefeweizens, you put lemon. But yeah, I like uh, lemon. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So no, no, you're, you're correct. You no, you're like correct. Irish it is it is, is an orange with, with Blue Moon. It is. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but uh just thinking go. of random yeah. fruits <laughs> either that or the last couple of blue moons i've had like the bartender's been just <laughs> out of luck and start chopping up anything <laughs> here's a pineapple yeah. throw it in and there I, and mm. i think on that note um talking about beer i think that's it for those this week um has anyone got any notes no yeah Drink thanks off. for having me <laughs> oh absolutely uh yes. quick, oh, quick oh, yeah, definitely, for Kevin. definitely shout out Joy, yeah, yeah, shout out, shout out. Oh, I don't know. It's, well, we're, I'm uh, going to put well, it on the screen anyway. There you go. Channel, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just to, to to anyone that's listening, or anyone that does go and uh, go and end up checking out any of my content, uh, just want to say, um, hopefully you find some of it useful, um, and hopefully it helps you in any sort of way. Um, and yeah, thanks for thanks for everything. Really. There you go. Cool. Check thank out Izzy much. reviews, isn't it? Yeah. Thank Cheers, you so thank much you. for watching. If you haven't watched. How did you get this far? <laughs> and we shall see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.